It is once again time for an episode of Vintage Audio Review. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about this Aragon 8008 power amplifier. In 1995, this sold for around two grand or about $4,000 in today's money, today being 2023. It was rated at 200 watts per channel into 8 ohms from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz at not more than 0.04% THD and the power would double if you went into 4 ohms so that would be 400 watts into 4 ohms at not more than 0.04% THD. It is a very unique looking amplifier and I remember seeing it in the advertisements in audio and stereo review magazines in the mid 90s. It was not something I could afford then. This actually belongs to a buddy of mine, we'll just call him Richard, who found it about a month ago while cleaning out a closet. He doesn't know when he bought it or how much he paid for it or even if it worked. So it ended up here for me to check out and I'm glad that I did. So we'll do a quick look at the front. There's really not much to see there. The back, not a lot more to see there either. I will take the cover off if I'm able and we'll kind of just see what it looks like. And then there will be data and of course I'll tell you what I thought after listening to it. This obviously is the front of the 8008 and it has that distinctive V-notch and there's heat sinks around that. Um, when you see it, it's kind of hard to forget this look. I'm not sure if other products that they made in that time frame have that look, but I think they did. We just have one control. There's a power on off switch here and then there's a power LED that comes on. I'm not sure if that LED will start flashing or turn red if there's a problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And if you listen closely, I think you'll hear the protect relay come on. So that means everything's good to go. Now we'll check out the back. This is obviously the rear of the Aragon 8008. And I should point out that this guy weighs about 70 pounds. So it is rather heavy as far as amplifiers go. Starting on the left, we have our right input there. It's unbalanced and it is gold plated as is the left unbalanced input there. Now there is a cover right here and right here. And that would be where your balance inputs would go if you ordered that option. We have our speaker connectors for the right channel here and the left channel there. Now they're the same point electrically. They're designed for bi-wiring. And so your two negatives are at the same point electrically and the two positive are at the same point electrically for each channel. They are good three-way binding posts as I call them. And right here we have our AC line input connection. And right here under this would be where you would switch the voltage for either 110 or 220. So here we have the inside of the Aragon 8008. Right here is our 110, 220 switching uh, network, I guess I'll call it. We have a big toroidal transformer there. I should point out that this is a dual mono design. So we have uh, two sets of capacitors. These are 80 volt, 18,000 microfarad capacitors each. And there would be one for each channel's uh, plus and minus rail. And the outputs from the toroidal transformer come over to these connectors here. Let me move on to get a little bit different view. So the Outputs from the toroidal transformer for each uh, channel come in here and here. And then we have rectifier bridges over here and over here for each channel. The outputs of each power supply are right here and right here. And there are fuses for each. And you can see one of the driver boards. So this is kind of a partial view of one of the driver boards. We have our protect relay here, and you kind of can just see in a little bit. I'll try to get a view from above. And that board is on the same side over here. So where the other heat sink is, over here there's another cover, and that would be where the other channel's driver board is. Let me see if I can get a little bit better view looking down on that board. 
Here's just a little bit different view of one of the driver's circuit boards and we'll see if we can see the out, there we go. So we have some of the output transistors right here. It looks like there's about eight of them per channel, the output transistors. And you kind of can just see the construction. Here is the THD SNR plot at 1 kilohertz with the Aragon 8008 putting out about 5 watts into 8 ohms. You can see it looks pretty good. The SNRs are above 96 dB. The THD is better than 0 .00, uh, we'll say 3%. And the gain is just shy of 28 dB. So overall, this Aragon amplifier is looking pretty good at 5 watts into 8 ohms. Here is the THD SNR plot at 1 kilohertz with the Aragon putting out 5 watts into 4 ohms this time. The SNRs have dropped a little bit. They were around oh, 97 dB with an 8 ohm load and the THDs were a little bit lower but uh, not very much lower. This still looks pretty good at point. 0.04% or 0.003% and the gain is pretty much the same at around 29.6 dB. Here is the frequency response of the Aragon 8008 from 20 Hz to 50 kHz. Now on this one I had to increase my uh, sample rate to 192K and I upped the FFT to 256K just to be able to get out to 50 kHz nicely. I put a marker, you can kind of just see it over here, this guy right here, he's at 50 kilohertz, and it's saying that we're down about half a dB. If I move that over to 20 kilohertz, and we're just looking at the left channel here, the yellow trace, so about 20 kilohertz, we're down maybe a tenth of a dB. So this thing looks really good. The channels are balanced to within, I would say, 0.05 dB. So the frequency response on this amplifier is outstanding. Here is a plot from 20 hertz to 50 kilohertz with the Aragon putting out about 5 watts into 4 ohms. You can see that at 38 kilohertz we're down about half a dB and that would be for the left channel. The right channel is offset a little bit so it also probably is down about half a dB at 38 kilohertz. The channels are balanced to within 0.1 ohm. So overall, the frequency response looks pretty good, although I think it looks better into 8 ohm loads. Here is a plot showing the rated power level being achieved, which is 200 watts into 8 ohms, both channels driven. And you can see our gain is still about 27.6 dB. Our SNRs are better than 100 dB. And the THD is better than, we'll say, 0.012%, we'll call it. The specification is that the THD should be better than 0.015%, so we are definitely beating the specification. Also, you can see that the THD plus noise is right around minus 80 dB, which is pretty good. Now, it does have a specification for the uh, signal to noise ratio of being 110 dB down with the A weighting applied. So if I go ahead and apply the A weighting, so now that I've applied the A weighting, you can see that the SNRs are a little bit better, 106 dB, 108 dB. So it did affect it a little bit. It's almost at 110 dB which is really, really outstanding for an amplifier that is this old. And in case you're wondering what the harmonics look like, let's bring those up. You can see that our odd or third harmonic is higher than the even or second harmonic, which would be standard for a solid state design. Here we have our THD SNR plot at 1 kilohertz with the 8008 putting out 
Oh, depending on the channel, we'll just uh, kind of split the difference, say 410 watts into four ohm loads. Now, the specification was that at 400 watts into four ohms, the THD should be less than 0.03%, and we are definitely there. Also, the SNR is listed at better than 110 dB with the A weighting on. I've got the A weighting on, and we're maybe 101 dB, so we're a little bit below that. I should also point out that at this power level, the Aragon is drawing about 11.3 amps AC, and our THD plus noise is better than, we'll say, minus 77 dB. So this guy is meeting its specification requirement, I would say, for the most part other than the signal to noise ratio is a little bit lacking but it's not that far off 101 db versus 110 db with the a weighting i'm not gonna cry any tears over that impedance which is really low and that translates to a great damping factor which if we use the value at 50 hertz is which is where it was specced at we come up with a damping factor of 200 which might be the very best one I have measured. The specification for it was 400. So once again, it's less than the specification, but 200 is outstanding. Here is a plot showing the Aragon's crosstalk. And in this case, the active channel is putting out 5 watts into 8 ohms. There is not a specification for it. However, it's pretty good. The worst case would be about 68 dB down here for the right to left and then the left to right is a little bit better but they both follow kind of the same curve and better than 60 70 dB is pretty good from what I have seen in my measuring this parameter. This plot shows the Aragon's THD versus frequency at a couple different output power levels and that's into 8 ohms. 2.3 would indicate an output power of about 122 watts and minus 12.7 would be about 2 watts. The specification was that it had better than 0.015% THD and it is beating that requirement. This is probably about 0.013% THD. So its THD over frequency at several different power levels looks very good. This plot shows the multi-tone test results for the Aragon power amplifier, and it is showing between 13 to 15 bits of distortion-free range. Here is a plot showing the system noise level of the Aragon amplifier. The inputs have been terminated into shorts, and the outputs have 8-ohm loads on them, and we're just looking at the system noise which would be around maybe minus 75 dBV. There is not a specification for that. And with real efficient speakers, we may just hear this at 120 hertz. Uh, I will let you know when I do the listening part. This plot shows the IMD response for the 8008. And in this case, two tones were injected. That would be the 20 kilohertz tone and 19 kilohertz tone. Their amplitude is adjusted to give about 5 watts into 8 ohms. And the worst case IMD response is better than 0.0025%. And there isn't quite a spec for IMD. They do have uh, TIM at better than 0.003%. So this is better than the TIM, but it's pretty low and it kind of just gives you an idea what the intermodulation distortion products look like a little bit. And I'm just showing the left channel. As you saw from the test data, this particular Aragon 8008 did a really good job of meeting the majority of its specifications from 1995, at least the ones that I measured. As far as its Class A operation, which changes over around 26 watts is about where it's supposed to start going into Class AB. I didn't really notice any change in the performance that I measured and when I was listening to it, which I'll get to in a bit, I didn't notice any difference in the, the sound when it was going at a lower power level versus the higher power level. Speaking of listening, 
I connected the Aragon up to my Wilson Watt 3 Puppy 2 loudspeakers and the preamp I used was my Carver C1 and I listened to quite a variety of music and it it does everything you want from a, a nice power amplifier. It also had not a bit of hum with the inputs terminated when I just listened uh, to the speakers to see if there was any hum from the amp. It was quiet. I couldn't hear anything and the data kind of showed that it had a low noise floor so that's kind of to be expected but it just operates as well as you would want. I never got it really hot when I was listening to it loud and it just seemed to uh, sound sound good. Uh, there's no faults in this amplifier that I could hear or measure so it would be a great amplifier to have in one's collection and it looks really cool too so it is you know on the heavy side 70 pounds but it's 200 watts a channel in 8 ohms so sometimes those amplifiers are getting a little bit heavy that do that. Once again if you like the video please click the thumbs up button you know that if you have any comments or stories to tell about your experiences with this amplifier, I love hearing those and I try to reply back to them. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, that would be a good thing to do. It helps the YouTube algorithm, I guess, if you have more subscribers and more views. And that would be a great way to help the channel grow. So once again, I thank you for watching and until next time, have a great day or night.